While I was the governor of Kano, we had a number of priorities, of course, and one of our topmost priority is to ensure that there is peace within the community. Uh, Kano used to be known as a very volatile state uh, with a number of uh, records of crises. Uh, but when we came on board, we institutionalized the societal reorientation program to re-enlighten the general public. The need for peace, because when you talk of tourism, uh, the number one thing that comes to mind is what do you do to attract people? Even if you have uh, beautiful places of history to attract people, if there is no peace uh, in the community, nobody would like to come. So my first take-up point to improve upon a tourism aspect is to give sense of belonging to all, is to create a very peaceful atmosphere for outsiders beyond the boundaries of Nigeria uh, to feel that Kano is a home for all. We embark on a lot of publications through the uh, Tourism Board. We do a lot of publications to advertise the Daba and other traditional aspects of Kano. And we distributed it very, very widely. And that has really attracted a number of people. We improved the quality of our services in the hostels of the Tourism Board, where we lodge uh, visitors. Uh, that has improved. We bought some uh, transportation, some buses for shuttling with the uh, people on tour uh, who are lodging in the tourism hostels. And all that had really attracted a number of visitors. Since the uh, rising problem of the insurgency, uh, particularly uh, as from 2012, 13, 14, when we're experiencing a lot of uh, bomb blasts. Uh, Kano had his own share of this very serious, devastating problem. Uh, I think it, the whole thing is subsiding now. I think for the last couple of weeks or months, the security agencies in Nigeria seem to have uh, really uh, gotten an age over the insurgents. Uh, one can say we are almost close to crushing it out, uh, flushing them out, even with, from their base in the northeast. So uh, I think Kano is gradually becoming peaceful again, especially the threats of the insurgents. And with this, I am sure the Daba can be uh, reinstated. The main challenge is lack of sufficient resources, of course. Uh, that is one of the major aspects. And uh, a number of the areas of uh, interest uh, have been transferred onto the uh, National uh, Commission for Culture. So we, they're not necessarily all of them under our control, like the old wall, like the museum and the rest. But we have been collaborating with them, uh, supporting them, and uh, at a point, uh, we even had to solicit some foreign support. Uh, some few other countries like Germany, France, I think they did come with some support uh, to rebuild some part of the destroyed uh, ancient wall of Kano. So if there is any challenge to developing tourism in Kano, which you experience is that of the uh, resources, which is uh, very well known, is, is, is competing with other demands uh, of the society.
For further inquiries about the production of top of the shelf TV documentaries, promotional reports, and future stories, contact through the eyes of an African through any of the following numbers 0802 3600 539. 0807 314 5307 or send us an email at yvonnebassi at yahoo.com through the eyes of an African, an obsession with tourism and media excellence.